right, well, we're pulling into Toronto. I'm gonna top our tanks off here at the quick serve. This is our last pit stop until Death Valley, and we make camp at Briggs Camp tonight, I believe. We left Toronto a while back, now we're just uh, taking the road, heading down into Death Valley. Snow on those peaks over there. You all brought snow chains, right? Yeah, I have mine. Absolutely, don't leave home without them. Airing down. <laughs> a full moon rising in the middle of the day. Chase Walker here. Nice shelf road. Cool view of the lake from here. Uh, of your system before tomorrow morning when we go over the bridge. <laughs> We're just getting started, big guy. Actually, I just put it in four wheel drive, too, so I'm glad I did for that bump. This is inside the stone cabin, just below the Briggs cabin. All these cabins are supported by volunteers that come in here and fix them up. Run on propane and solar. morning hitting the trail 930 there's John 
Chase right there. He's going to pull in behind him. And we're heading to a very technical turn, probably the most butt puckering part of this trip. Uh, uh, nice narrow little shelf road there. Damn sun. Probably can't see how narrow this trail is. So this, this whole, whole thing, thing is, is you got, got like a two foot, foot ledge here, you're going to be off camber, and you're going to be leaning out over this about a 500 foot drop. So we're all just calculating and estimating how to do this. Hmm. So right Hmm. Yeah. Right, right, right up the line. Okay. First gear, four wheel, rock, rock, rock. Easy peasy. Faster you go, the shorter it is. If you get to right here, somehow you start to spin a tire, you just drop off. Okay, so tell me about this line. This is a ball buster. <laughs> oh, this Someone already painted a nice orange line there. Just put your right tire on that line and follow it up. Nice and slow, you're gonna be off camber. You're just going first gear, four low. Nice and slow, rear locker on. Roll your right tire up on that. If somehow you start spinning your right tire, hit your front locker to get up that ledge. But I think it'll just roll right up it. There's a little drop off here. You have to be careful. All right, Denise. You got the best seat in the house. Perfect, keep going just like that. Keep going. Uh, drive, passenger, passenger right there, perfect. Okay, you're going up the ledge. Covered. 
onto the next obstacle. Next time we'll do it at night. Oh. Okay. In reverse. In reverse? <laughs> you know, if you go down it, it doesn't feel bad at all going down it. It feels like a oh, problem because in you're not on the side against the cliff and you can gauge yourself real tight to the wall. They should all be like that. That's handy. Yeah, that is awesome. They should all oh, definitely do that. Not too far, Scott. Come back over towards me a little bit. There you go. There's a bike over up here. Good. Straight ahead. No, nope. stay, stay uh, right there. Straight ahead. Slow. Very slow. Crawl. stretch of road used to be an airstrip out here for the miners and I think we're gonna come up here take a break there's like a little abandoned mine some outbuildings some old cars laying around all right taking a little break after all that excitement just an old mining stop up here oh shoot just a valve job a little bit of carburetor work, right? Yeah. A little paint. Nothing WD-40 You can rub this out. Be yeah. good as new. A little 50. is a 56 I mean, uh, Ford. Nice patina on our radio. Yeah. That's big, you say. Yeah. We'll pay good. A little mind. So quartz that's what they're looking for. They know there might be some gold in the in the veins. So we're at the top of this ridge. Maybe see our vehicles parked down there, but oh, maybe close to a quarter mile. Used to be an airstrip down there. Bringing supplies for the miners. And we're up here looking for petroglyphs. got some here actually photographing better than it looks hardly make it out okay here's another one kind of looks like a stick figure kind of like a spaceman with a helmet on it so John what are we looking at here back side of Stripe Butte right there's a geology cabin Okay. Emmett's cabin was right around the corner here. This is the valley that the 49ers came up and they came up over this mountain here and out. Where did they come in from? Can you tell which direction? Yeah, they would have come from uh, that valley right there. They came up to that valley. All right, so here we're starting this trek up this ridge line over the top of this mountain hadn't done this before nice and slow lockers on 
some other people ahead of us and uh, you just take it a little bit at a time I guess. Let uh, the truck in front of you get past that loose rocky section before you go. This is steep. Keep giving it some gas. Word of advice, score. don't look over your shoulder when you're going up this one. I thought it was good, except for that last little fucking off camber shit. It didn't look like that much. No, hills, no joke. No, that's like this, but oh, it just, yeah. the low gear, it just, I just went, it just. And I, I'm afraid, like the one guy who wanted to come, I told him no. So I'm afraid without a rear locker, you start spinning. Like, good luck going down there to get some of your stuff. Yeah. I think I just told him, you need to back down a little quickly around the. <laughs> All right, so we're coming down the other end of it now. Four low, first, second gear. So, John, explain what this is. So, this is the pass that Manley and Rogers, to get help for the 49ers, came out from Furnace Creek. They went up through Warm Springs Canyon, climbed up this mountain through this pass down Pleasant Canyon to Los Angeles to get help for the 49ers that are stuck in Death Valley. And at this point, looking back over the valley is when the uh, 49ers said goodbye Death Valley and coined the term Death Valley for this valley to the east of us. So which way did they leave to finally get out of here? That road we're going to be taking here shortly. So this is the inside of World Beater Mine Cabin. We stayed in here last night. Some did. I slept outside in my tent cot. Everybody's getting ready, packing up in the morning. She's thirsty. One of the many sites out here. Evidently, this is where they kept dynamite for one of the many mines. Just more of the massive equipment you see at these old mines. Oh, see 
it's all the metal that's clear up here. This yeah, is that is a little weird. This is pretty intact. Can you believe, Scott, how many of the buildings are gone from when we were here? Yep. Wow. One of them had a nice staircase. She built second floor. So you're saying there used to be a house that actually... Well, you don't see a lot of this in Death Valley too much. There's even some water on the ground. I imagine there's a spring here. I saw snow up at the higher elevations, but this water's coming from something else, I'll bet you. I'm surprised that there's not more donkeys here, considering uh, this seems to be the place for water. I bet they do a lot of eating and drinking down here. out of the jungle and uh, heading back down should be down out of the mountains here in a little bit as we head to Ballarat The old Ballarat Trading Post. Charles Manson Rock bought his truck. So this is a note from Charles Manson leaving his truck here. My 1941 weapons carrier truck. I left it in the desert at Ghost Town, Ballarat. I got it surplus. Someone stole my front grill and bumper. Oh well, good old servant. Stood here for 40 years, and this is Charles Manson's business card. So let's go outside and see the truck. So here's Charlie Manson's truck that he had out here when they lived in Barker Ranch. We'll be heading that way in a little bit. But I guess this thing's uh, been here for quite a few years. Take a peek inside. You look up at the inside and you see somebody painted a bunch of stars in here. A little stencil work. So probably a lot of famous people took infamous people I should say took a ride in this truck to and from Barker Ranch when they weren't hiking from Barker Ranch they used to walk from Barker Ranch to the store for supplies too and as they say more on that later we're gonna figure out how far that is and
Took us 45 minutes to get there. Because we're doing going real slow with the wash, washboard roads. And so next stop I think is uh, well not the next one, two or three stops maybe Barker Ranch. We'll run into a couple of mines and cab abandoned shacks and cabins, but uh, we'll get there. It says that the Barkers built their camp in a small canyon that drains into the head of Glower Wash. The Myers family have a well-developed camp a short distance northeast. Billy Miles Myers, the patriarch of his family, had been a successful prospector in these parts for many years. There could have been a book or two written just about him, but he built up his camp as a comfortable family retreat years before any of this happened. I often saw his granddaughters or grandchildren in Golar Wash on their way out, of, out to their place. I'm not 100% sure they got their bus up there. They might have walked up here and left the bus down at the base of the Golar Wash. All right, John, so what's the significance of Newman's Cabin? I don't know much about Newman's Cabin other than I did read that uh, the Manson girls, when they're walking from Ballarat with supplies back to Barker Ranch, they would sometimes spend the night here and walk the rest of the way in the morning. The door was on last time I was here. It wasn't there? It was on. That even with the small jeeps like this, It's lunchtime now, and I got a burrito in the oven. Charlie and his family came here after the murders, I guess, to hide out. And when they got here, after a while, the police found out one thing led to another. They found out he was here. Searched the place. Couldn't find him. Went back in for a final search and found him underneath the sink in a small little cupboard. This is the bathroom, shower. There was a little sink, probably here, there's a little drain there. And he was in the sink cabinet when he got caught. Okay, we're heading down. Mengel Pass, which is very off camber the whole way. I hate off camber. And it starts right after uh, Barker Ranch, right next to it. So, and we're making our way out across the valley. No 
Hold up here, Robert. I'm going to put it in low. This is some crazy technical shit through here. Not too often you run into seeing other people yeah, out here. Okay, never mind. Too much. They're up to something. Mangle Pass Monument. Top of the pass. And the mountain that we were standing on. Oh, at the top there? It's that top right up there. That's where we had lunch. Yeah. And then we went up all those ridges. Right, that ridge right there. That's the where we, we went. Now we have lunch on is right up. Oh, and the statue is flapping outside. Yeah. Flat, and then we went up that. It's like you can't see me. Oh, it's back there. It's back Scott, just run tight so you don't, just as tight as you can to this rock right here. Get out of 
out of your way. Let me get out of your way. Hey, John, um, before this trip's over, do you think we're going to be able to run into some black diamond stuff? We're about to get to the rough stuff. Now that we got through all the baby stuff, we'll get into the rock crawl. Well, it's about time. Jeez. So I think that's the uh, end of the hard part of Mingle. And I'm happy about that. Okay, so everybody's camping, making camp on Saturday night. Open road for twos right there. World's most dangerous TJ's right here and Chateau Tacoma is right there and there's Robert and way in the distance is Chase Walker staying at the geology cabin let's have a look I don't think it's going to be hot enough to use a heat sign hey? this is going to be the hottest night we have so perfect so it's very well kept. Now we're at low elevation. Probably the most popular cabin that people stay in out here. I'll be sleeping in here. Looks like somebody got a four pointer out here. So, and there's a great view. So this is quite the view from the geology cabin. There's Striped Butte over there in the distance. Yes, indeed. Didn't Chase say they filmed some Star Wars out here in the, the first movie or something? Put the winch cable to the tree. I got a 12,000 pound winch, so I'm like, I'm just gonna pull the whole front end around, get turned around, and we'll drive it out. Get me in the right direction. Well, then there was a stump in the way. So we got the chainsaw out, cut the stump out of the way, turned us around. Now we had to go up this hill though, and I could have had them winch me out. Yeah. But I said, we you know what, we'll put the chains on. I hooked the chains on and drove right up the hill. Turn the vehicle right. into a tank. Yeah. Yep, there's a little banny. Yeah. But they're real nice because they, they only call? take up about what is it? the one. We can't see it on here, but we've got a document that's talking about it. We're looking at a couple of very odd lights. Aliens. Definitely aliens. Yeah, yeah aliens. I saw the one had a long aliens. neck and it was green. If anybody has an iPhone the, with the moon as it is right now, you get awesome night photography. Okay, but oh. we're talking about the aliens. The aliens. Look at those we two got, lights. We got we're confirmed on alien there's sightings. There's two now. Yeah, but look at how weird the lights look. And they were on top of each other. Now they're, they're one's lower. Oh, one's gone. Gone, yeah. It's disappearing. That's what's weird. He went to get more jerky. Alien jerky. Is that Vegas that way? Well, that, that's <sighs> one theory is that it's the flight plan to pass for. But, we've, but, we've, but yeah. that plane, we've that, if that's that a plane, theory, it's yeah. not it's really getting any those. bigger or smaller. Yeah. It just stays in the same place. Yeah. I've never had an alien encounter, and I'm sensitive, and I've never had an alien encounter. That I remember. There it's coming back. We all got it. We should be journaling because we may not remember any of this tomorrow morning. Well, I am. I that's why. That's up. why I'm <laughs> videoing this right now. Oh, they'll wipe that. That's technology. They can't wipe actual um, handwriting. Uh, yeah, and I wrote it down in the guest book. Okay. Well. I'm... Well, Sunday morning at the geology cabin. Today will be our last day. Be heading out. Man, what a view. Saw some strange things in the sky last night. Not everybody agrees what it was, but it was interesting. Still a little adventure left. We're gonna go check out Emmett's cabin. Who wrote one of the definitive books out here about history in the 50s, 60s, maybe 70s.
bus. So this is Emmett Harder's cabin. Great historian of the area. Still with us. I think he's in his 90s. No, that's not Emmett Harder. That's Randy. For open road for two. Here's his, uh, his claim on the wall there. Really? Too. Here's the, this is the actual claim, but back there. They collected all the water in that tank. Fed it back to the house. Tin roof is probably pretty noisy when it rained. So here's a cable that ran from down here. You kind of see it off in the distance the sun gets in the way but went up to his mine loop strap hang, hanging down from the uh from the cable that goes up to the mine not sure what goes on with that but I'm sure was used to help carry something up and down Like some sort of diesel heater there or something. I don't know what's going on in here. It's a mess, but Emmett brought this bus up here for something. So this is probably the housing offices. Look like they're built in the 50s, early 60s. A lot of mud damage from a recent storm. I was here about a year and a half ago and nothing like this. This is the second swimming pool we've seen at a mine up here in Death Valley. So they took care of their workers. And uh, first time I've seen it with water in it after that storm, I imagine. Talc mine, Warren Springs. Some headlamp and some some carabiners and some rope. We're going in. Yeah. All right. So you got you got a tunnel going that way. A tunnel going this way. There's a tunnel going over this way where Chase Walker is going. Crazy stuff. So if you ever want to know what inside a talc mine looks like, right turn as you can. Robert, Robert, I'm stopping. Robert, I'm stopping. The ground gets pretty loose up here. Yeah, we can't see anything. Got stopped, so we'll give him a few minutes to get going. Yeah, I'm going. I just put it into low three because I started sliding all over the place. Wait till we... So we're about 60 feet below sea level. Got down around 300. Roads look good. Everybody's airing up. And uh, hopefully we'll be on the road back home pretty soon. What'd you 
think of this trip? We had some great weather. The trail was fun. I showed 117 miles. Well, it's not this is your second time, and Chase, Chase has done it many times. We had an amazing time, and uh, so glad that we got to do it with you guys, and we will totally do it again. Chicken Corner. <laughs>